Sweden. And second is... Ah! Oh my god. So much pressure. Ah! Sentimental. The very best. Oh my god, Deja. Deja's flopping. Deja! Thank you. Thank you, Deja. Ah. Third runner up, Deja. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Shit. Oh, Deja. Hey there everyone, it is time for the Dragon Season Finale, Episode 8. And it's been quite a journey. There's been lots of conversations about what makes Dragon good, what can be improved some more, and I think we should continue having those conversations. We can only improve together. Meanwhile, I'm actually rooting for Moi because she is my witty queen and she's the queen with the, like the smallest budget. So I am super gunning for her because she's basically the underdog. I do think Mrs. Stan will win, but I, I don't know how this finale is like stacked up together because in episode 6, we had the Q&A already. I guess we're gonna get the Q&A again? So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the episode. And it's called Reina ng Gabi. Okay. Each of the top three queens coronation as the new Drag Supremus film. None of them will know the true winner until this episode airs. I like how upfront they are about this. And yeah, so I guess it's in the the party, the live watch party or whatever that's happening right now. So everyone filmed a coronation huh and last season there was a whole part where the contestants also had a scoring right i wonder how they're gonna do it because again we have not had any consistency in the rules oh okay we're doing a song <laughs> Okay, these bagmen are not <laughs> making any... <laughs> and we know their names, right? That's Ela and Christian. Hmm. This, this is actually a pretty tame lip sync. I wish there were more people dancing. What is this? Quarantine days. And Christian is like absolutely stoic. I did not I did not like that <laughs> I would have liked the normal opening damn they're all here hey <laughs> so hindi deserve yung iba mm. <laughs> <sighs> yes, Jean Still shady. I'm still not a fan of that double. Nope. So this is happening like this was all filmed before, right? Which means. Moy would not have had like time to get more budget for more drag. Like we'll still see the same type of drag that we've seen from her before. Why is this being done in the interview though? Anyway, I hope like there's this type of question and answer with the judges. Yeah, Moi is my favorite. I'm unapologetic. Oh yeah, this is Kuya. <laughs> Though I have not had as much a connection with Deja, honestly. Okay. Uh, let's see what the rules are. Okay, it's via Drag Cartel. Got it. Finally exercise her voting power after secretly watching and judging. Oh, Sasa Girl has a okay. 
Nat okay, national costume. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, that that was a good way to show the scoring. National costume. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, everyone's back. Is it? Wow. Oh, <laughs> Russia Fox. I wish we had a runway. Anyway. So obviously they still had to choreograph all of this and stuff. How long has it been, I wonder, since... Look at my baby girl Jean at the side. Oh, wow, wow. Russia Fox is her massive, massive thing. Miss her. Okay. Is this a sunflower? Is the sunflower an important thing for... Uh... Oh, okay. It's a festival. Very true to herself. I just don't like the back. The back here, you can see the thing. But then, I guess you weren't supposed to see the back. Oof. Okay. Is this Mrs. Tan? No, this is Moe. Oof. This is the most expensive thing that Moy has had. Love it. Is my culture. This is my home. And now, she always does this very well. The talk. Ooh, nice. Sorry, that was really good. Hi. She's so witty. Choo choo bitch. And she does it on purpose right when it closes. Okay, Mrs. Stan. Oof, wow, they're pulling out all the stops. Isn't that in Butuan? I Lolong, yeah, yeah. In Butuan, right? Oh, that's good. Ooh, so good. That was good. And I am a And the Dao? I didn't understand the ending. <laughs> it's okay for me, but I really liked her ending. I mean, her her speech. They just was the weakest for me here. Moy was my favorite, and then Mrs. Tan. You have all proved that you are the this is 20% right. My Tigang Queen. It's gonna get wet Her Philippine is getting better. For your final drug drug already? Isn't there a long gown part? Okay, let's see. Huh? Okay, drag dagulan. Wow, everyone gets back. Can we please just have a runway where they just go through it? Wow, I love it. I love jeans. Let's see if they listen to their critique about all of these. Is this produced? I don't like that we're cutting so much. Because... It's not a lip sync. It feels like it's produced instead. Right? What am I supposed to be judging here? 
Because it's not the lip sync. So. Because. Okay. I don't like that it's not synced. <laughs> We're just. Okay. I, d I don't know what to say. My top three queens are all wet and that was so. That is edited so weird. Are they even in the same room? It doesn't feel like they're in the same room. Okay, I don't know how to judge that. It was my least favorite of the night. And very nice makeup. And then she kind of like reveals it and she's twirling it. It's giving movement, you know. I didn't notice that in the lip sync. <laughs> I was using that piece of cloth. I am I am <laughs> criticizing all of these lip syncs. She was spinning that fabric, that wet fabric. Oh yeah, I like that twirl. I just didn't like the edit because it was like cut 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 cut. See, that was my favorite. Left behind the back part. Everything was a spectacle. Yeah, see, the back part. So they talked about the back part. And they just was like, not part of it. <laughs> Moi, you're my favorite. And then it's a black one. Yes, oh, that was good. I didn't notice it also. <laughs> Oh no. But in a good way. I, okay. <laughs> you know, in that type of context, you gotta I liked it. swallow you up and yeah. then she really was But I like the I like the speech one. more. Costume, honestly. Really kind of what I like about Mrs. Tan's reveals, like they all made sense. It wasn't just yeah. for the sake of like throwing something on just so we could have a show. It incorporated into the whole What are we talking event. about? And Mrs. Tan didn't Really let go of the yeah, she stayed in the middle. That's why I felt like it was produced. And I'm really excited that they were able to do the Stragaculan. Which I guess was in a separate place. Have been through hell. Long gown presentation. I love this look of Manila though. I really wish we had a runway for them. Look at these costumes. So good. Oh my god, look at that budget. Wow, Russia, Fo oh, Russia Fox. Jean Velog has money now. Oh, everyone's changed. Even Sasa Girl's in a different costume. Okay, Deja. You always make sure your queenly presence is felt once you put on your costume wigs and makeup. So, queens beware! Deja could be your silent When is she player. talking? Oh, that was just a random narration. I'm okay with it. Oof. Oh, I love this. Wow. Moi. Moi. <laughs> All of the budgets <laughs> is coming out for the finale. I am so pleasantly surprised with all the drag that we're seeing right now. She looks expensive. My God. Love it. Wow. Every time you step on the stage, you instantly capture our attention with your unconventional and highly I feel like the the <laughs> it's a bit floppy the the moon, but it looks very pretty and expensive. I liked I like Moise better. I wonder if I'm being biased here. Oh, look at this! When you look at all of them in this way. 
Moy is standing out. Moy is standing out for me. But those, we are also looking for brains. So untuck those whips, queens, because we are Q and A, which is Moy's strength. There's one question for all of you. Why do you deserve it? Listen to our drag den theme song while I'm oh, okay. You become the drag supreme tonight. <gasps> Three you words and why. One minute. Timer starts. One minute. Now. Shit. Oh my god. This is what makes drag den perfect. Okay, provincial. Go, Deja. Talk about your next two words. And second is. Ah! Hi! Oh my god. So much pressure. Ay! Sentimental. The very best. Oh my god, Deja. Deja's flopping. Deja! Thank you. Thank you, Deja. Ah! Third runner up, Deja. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit. Oh, Deja. Moy, I have high expectations Moy, for you. Describe your reign in three words and why. Why are you looking like you're crying already? Minute, the commitment and the power. The will to do drag. Will, commitment, and power is a The commitment. The commitment to do drag in seven pairs of stockings, in heavy wigs, in heavy makeup. Girl, this is good. And beautiful art. And the power. The power to be the drag supreme. Wow. I can forever change. Oh my god. Yes, that's my boy. That's my fucking boy. I'm here, Provinciana and proud. Yes, bitch. Manifesting as your drag supreme. Thank you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Please. <laughs> Deja is like so sad. Let's see what. My reign to be bukas. Bukas. Nakikinig. At inclusive. And inclusive. Okay. Oh, this is nice also. Actually, she's talking about she's literally talking about the 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 question, which is the rain. What is your rain like? I like this too. Thank you, Mrs. Tan. That was nice. <laughs> Deja is so is so down already. Because. 30% will be from the rest of the season. Wow, everyone's here. Moya was my favorite. And then she got stuck on it, yeah. But that's a pageant, right? So... They just out. <laughs> Shit. Wow, Dinog Show Deja. <laughs> Deja can't even talk here. She was always there to remind us that she was doing really good drag with an amazing sense of humor and doing it smartly. Yeah. All the hard work and all she was just okay for me this season. <laughs> Why does Moy look so expensive now? When did this glow up happen? Yes. Baby, yes. Girl, what are you saying? No. <laughs> The construction sauce is really good. Look at that. She's the clouds, yeah. Because it was clouds, right? Super smart. That's what we need in the Drag Supreme. Yes. And that's good for the Drag Supreme. 
They just so sad. Will, commitment, and power. Baby. Yes, from the beginning. Pulling out the stock. All the stock. This is not my favorite gown, though. If my answer is good or bad, if my answer is the worst, I don't fucking care. Girl, fucking good news to us. Jean looks so pretty. And look at those eyes in the thing. Is she a cherubim or something? Shit, I feel like Moy, Moy might have a chance. Moy might have a fucking chance. Yeah, it was a good answer. Yeah. And it's great to have that advocacy. I, again <laughs> Grave <laughs> Jean was so scared From the last season we saw how we got international attention Oh did we that's good by the Filipinos for the Filipinos someone who will really tell her stories and not just meet the standards of international drag so is that more people to know about our culture and i want so oh my god sasa when she's not doing being canal <laughs> to the world <laughs> she's so articulate every island in the philippines and get them behind them to support them to prove to everyone watching around the world that i now really wish that moy wins then are we back with oh wow i like that they do this right they really give tribute to the old queens so i don't know any of these people but i just feel like History, the history of the Philippine drag. And the year. It's an immense honor to be the first to carry the legacy of the Supreme. My trailblazing win is proof that you can make mistakes. The audio. But you can use and label our art as mere mockery. As these attacks. Look at this expensive queen. Yeah. Above the water. Because the drag supreme is someone who can stand. That's my original drag then crush. No. I could not imagine a better way to end my reign. I don't want to end it actually. Can I not? Can we just like end the episode here and then we don't crown another bitch? It's just me. But I had so much fun as the first ever Jack's drag and I think that's what we need most. I didn't see any of this. We see the It's so nice to see it though. Ava Papaya racing chat Will they get to sit down? Too bad I'm gonna have to cut this because copyright guys. Cut. Oh, so they're really, literally walking while this happens. Wow. <laughs> Oof. That's my queen. That's my queen. <laughs> yes, Deja. <laughs> Go have fun. Was she lip syncing too? I think she was lip syncing to the song. Bitch. Oh, did they literally like plan that? Sun, moon, clouds. <laughs> Manila's like awkwardly smiling.
I feel like it was a bit awkward in the end. If I could only crown all three of you, I would. Yeah. The Miss Clapper or Miss El Tucuyo Award. What does that mean? Miss El Tucuyo Award goes to... To Maria Lava, maybe? No. Miss Russia Fox. She could have gotten a million. First of all, thank you so much for my five bits. And I thank you. Hey, man. Oh, that's nice. We will now proceed to the crowning. Okay. I'm hoping more. I'm hoping more. Moi. Oh, okay, so so all of the... We're seeing everything now? It's, I'm just watching. Is Deja the winner? Is this the end? Why are we getting the entire performance though? She's the winner for sh for real. I'm I'm very confused here. This is the win. Is this is the end. No, we still have a few minutes. And is they just really the winner? They just. Oh, this is true. Oh. Okay, this is... I, I'm very confused. I'm so confused by this. Sorry, Deja, but what <laughs> happened? I don't think anyone was expecting this, especially with that Q fucking Q&A. I'm... I literally thought that was... I'm so sorry, Deja. I thought that was like not... I thought that was fake. What's... What's this happening? Okay, I'm just... What? For real? Okay, I'm still in a bit of shock. I'm sorry, Deja, but I did not expect you to win because of that fucking Q&A that should have, like, cut off all your chances. I didn't, like... I... I'm, I'm speechless because, like, if it was not Moi, at least Mrs. Tan would have been at the top, right? If it was not Moi, it would have been Mrs. Tan. Hello there. Editing Bodhi here from the future because this is me editing my video after I recorded it and I just want to put on the record that while looking at the wins of the competition, yes, so Deja had two wins and Moi and Mrs. Tan had one win each only and obviously this goes to show how much I have been influenced by my own narrative because in my head I always thought that Mrs. Tan was so high, but apparently not. She wasn't always at the top. So that's what made me think that Mrs. Tan was the one who was going to win. Like, I, I really had that image. Anyway, so please forgive Reactor Bodhi, who was very emotional. But I felt what I felt. I stand by it. Congratulations, Deja. You won it. You deserve it. You're the next Drag Supreme. Anyway, get back into the episode with me reacting very emotionally. This is me still thinking that there was a production mistake and we got a Deja win by mistake and there was actually a different win that was supposed to happen. I wonder what everyone else is thinking. Because I was really, really rooting for Moi, but I knew that she had the chance not to win against Mrs. Tan. Again, this is about the editing. If the editing... If, if they wanted Deja to win, then we should have at least seen the judges talking like a lot more good things about Deja. And then there was the whole, oh, uh, I want a uh, drag supreme to communicate well. And then we have a judge saying that that wasn't Deja's strong suit. What type of editing is that? Four 
dragged it in season one. I remember I was so emotional seeing Naia win. This one I'm just in shock. Which I I didn't expect this would happen. Like, okay, I have no idea what everyone else is thinking, but sorry, this this left a bad taste in my mouth. And I feel it like that's diminishing Deja's win, but I really didn't expect it. And from my own scoring, is it because she had two wins? Like, where did Mrs. Tan go wrong? If it wasn't, like, and I guess in the end, it's because Q&A was just 10% and like the overall season performance was 30%. So obviously with that 30%, maybe Moy would have been taken out right away. And Deja definitely deserved to be in the top three. Don't get me wrong. But I just am against this edit. Like, I feel like this could have been edited so much better so that we could have at least had that like build up for Deja to win. Because I felt like from the judging, the judging looked already as if it was going to be Moyer, Mrs. Tan. Like, suddenly, oh, it's not. So, I don't know. I felt like it's a rug pull. But I guess we'll see what the Twitters and the Reddits think. Maybe I'm too biased. Yeah, I admit it. I'm very biased for Moy. I, want, I wanted the underdog to win. But yes, I understand that 30% was very heavily weighing on her. But didn't Mrs. Tan have a lot more wins? Anyway. What did you guys think? Comment down below, let me know what you thought. Please like and subscribe, join my Discord, support me Patreon, and I guess, see you next time. Somebody's opinion.